Hello YouTube! In this video I'll be talking about how do you get money incredibly fast in Oakland. And it's just going to be a tutorial and you're going to need the grabby grabber for this. It's, it's going to help you get money incredibly fast. People don't use it to its fullest potential. And yeah, so you're going to need this and you're going to need to build a special, special contraption. So these are all the materials right here. They're all listed. There's a few missing, but I'll tell you along the way. So you can use any forge except for the scrap one because those are really small. So you can use metal and above. You can use, you can use the biggest car. So you can use this the smaller cars, but just use the bigger one. Then you're going to use four tilted Y conveyors. So these are the four new tilted Y conveyors. You're going to need four of them. Then you're going to need two of the wide normal conveyors. So just to make it easy. And you're going to need four of these tilted, not three. For three years because I didn't know at that time. So you're gonna need three of them, and then you're gonna need three normal conveyors. And you're also gonna need some building blocks. These are just maximum sized, and they are very thin. And you're also gonna need fence, a fence, which is right shown right here. So you're gonna need a fence. Basically, after building those four parts, you're gonna then want to make the fence. So to start off this build, you're gonna need a Y conveyor and you're gonna place it just anywhere in the plot where you have enough space make sure you have a lot of space for this and you're just gonna place it basically into the ground so the reason for this is you want the car to be get to be able to go on top of this to drive on top of this so it's gonna be like a ramp and you're just gonna make it as small as size possible and once that's done uh, you're gonna want to move it or you can just resize it also into the ground. So I'm just gonna resize it into the ground. So as you can see. Yeah, so if you wanna just move it down. And you wanna make sure it's like perfectly down. You don't go too up or too down. So if you go too down, it will just show the ground. So you just want that and just place it like that. And you're gonna want to basically just duplicate this on the second one. So the way you do that is you just basically build it inside of this or you can just align it and then move it in the same exact way. Just aligning the corners will, be, will do enough and uh, making it as big as the other one and make it the same size and there we go that's the second one. So now that's the, fir that's the first half of it done. Then you want to make it longer because these aren't long enough so you want to put the second one third one I mean, third longest ramp align it and then just make it the same size so it's not it's at lowest lowest uh height and just longest length and same thing with the last one and this will be the loading bay so this is just a very simple but very efficient loading bay you don't have to align your car you can just drive it anywhere you want backwards or forwards you can just drive it in and just press on the respawn button and it's done Next, you want to move a straight, uh, no, normal conveyor. So these are the white ones. You want to use the normal one. So you can see. Then you want to basically I'll make it the size, make it the length, make the length as long as the width of the Y conveyor. So just like that. Let's simply base it off of, and then make sure it's the, it's the widest it can go, and that's it. Then you want to align it to the loading place. Make sure it's in the middle by using the arrows. Just want to move it into it. And right now, it's as you can, there is no middle. So what you can do is just move this a bit wider. And that way, there will be. The lift. If they don't have to do this. It's just because I have OCD. <laughs> I have to make things aligned. Otherwise, it just bugs me. Make it a bit down so that it doesn't like nothing can get stuck on that column corner piece. I don't know. Then you want to move the wide conveyors into this, so like that. And basically, you want to make the conveyor walls not block each other. So right now, the corners of it are a bit. You see that it's going up there. So you want to move it down, 
So as you can see, they're like blocking it a bit. So basically the way you fix that is you want to move it down until it doesn't block it anymore. So you can see now it's there. And same thing for that one for the loading loading conveyors. And since we move it down a bit, move it in a bit. And then you want to move the middle one down by one more. And now there is nothing, there's nothing blocking the way, so the ores won't get stuck at all. You can make that a bit bigger so that it's just perfect. And yeah, now ores will not get stuck when they're going through this. So it's basically just directing all the ores into one single plot. You can also make this a bit shorter so it just takes up less space. Next thing is you're gonna need a tilted conveyor. So you're gonna have four of them. This is the first one. So you wanna place it aligned with the middle conveyor that's here i was trying to align it with the outer ones but then i realized wait a minute it's supposed to align with the middle one and the middle one is actually wider than those two so you can see it from the outside underneath so hey i didn't like it trying to find out which way it was it was a bit confusing but if you just turn the camera around there you can see the middle ones and then you, can, you just want to align it to those ones just like that and then you want to just make it just a reasonable length you want to make it as high as you can because you want it to, want this thing to go up and once it's that uh you just basically you can make it uh any degree as long as uh, there's ore so blocky things can go up it really easily but like uh wood and stuff won't be able to but this thing is made for ores and here I'm just testing it out with the car, see how tall it is. And as you can see, it's not taller than the than the storage of the car. And you can't make it much taller, so you're gonna want to add another one to that. So here I'm just making it uh this like the smallest height first. Then I'm changing my units to one unit, and then I'm just bringing it out a bit so like it's like perfectly one unit. And then I want to just uh, duplicate this so by placing it inside of it uh, you can basically just duplicate the same exact part so you want to move it to the same starting point and make sure you use 2.25 and then you just want to make it the same size and then you want to move the input of this conveyor to the output of the last conveyor so that way it's perfectly aligned now it's way taller than me so that means it's taller than the car so it's good now the next part is now not putting this, but actually you want to put the forge. Forge? Ref no, no, the refinery. Not the conveyor, we're just, just checking it. Uh, you want to actually place the refinery first. Then you want to place the... What do you call it? Then you want to place the forge. So. You want to place a refinery, align it to this conveyor, make sure it's the same height, and make sure it's the same height, and then uh, you don't have to do this part, you just make sure it's the same height. And then you want to add the forge after this, and basically want to combine them into one. So by doing that, uh, you they won't have it like stuck or like, getting stuck or not, and the way you just, you just basically aligned with the darker lines and it, that way it looks good and at the same time it just works functionally it just basically as soon as you put the R in it just comes out as uh, forged then this is gonna this is we're gonna make the infinite storage here check out this video on the top right yeah you want to move a uh, conveyor in front then you want to move it to the starting place of the forge and you want to make it to uh, the dark line on the forge. So we're gonna start from the from the refinery and then put it on the dark line in middle of the forge. As you can see the line there, to the bottom then. And then you wanna add the last straight conveyor, same exact way. Except this time you're gonna basically attach it to the to the end of the conveyor we just put. So move it to the conveyor. Just like that. And then you want to just make the size uh, as long as the forge, the end of the forge. And that way we have a button there. And the last thing is you want to move 
both the Forge and the Refinery down by 0 0.25. So just by one, and that's there. And then same thing for the other one. Just like so. And now we have Infinite Storage. And this is where you're gonna add the last two, con last two uh, straight conveyors. I mean, no, tilted conveyors. So you're basically gonna want to place it uh, at the front of the refinery. So that way, as you can see, there's, there's audio, but they're stuck. So to get them, to make sure they don't get stuck, uh, you wanna make it so that the these tilted conveyors basically help the ore to sort out and just go in one by one instead of all at once. You don't have to make this part perfect. It's just just it's just there so that uh, it doesn't get stuck. And as you can see, even as even just adding one, already doing work, and it still gets stuck because it's on the left side. But with a little nudge, with a little nudge, uh, it works. And uh, basically same thing on the other side. I didn't have this conveyor, so I just uh, I just went and bought another one and You just want to duplicate it. So First you want to make it so that it's oriented the right way just like that Then you want to just move it to the exact same size like so and You know basically make it completely symmetrical And once that's done, then you can start to resize it so the length is like around the same. Then you want to make it uh, shorter. Yeah, it was shorter, not in length, in height I mean. And that's what it, uh, it's completely still. So like make sure you don't see any silver parts from the refinery. So it's like completely all blacked out. That way it's done. Now we're gonna need those walls. So I'm gonna place this one at the start of the loader loading system so this is just for like the ores to not basically uh fall off the car while you're loading it and it's just it's, you don't have there's no specific size it's just um uh, make the bigger size and then just place them down like so on the on the walls of the conveyors and it's just just use to attach them so there's nothing there's no specific resizing so that way you just drive the car in and that's it and this is where you also need the fence so i forgot because there isn't like a specific size you just basically just attach it to the size you can make this loaded as wide as you want it doesn't matter so that's why i didn't make it a specific size all you have to do is just attach it to the side then you want to just make it align to the end of the first ramps then you want to make it wide enough so that it reaches the other side and then you just want to make it completely tall so as tall as it can be and you, just, you can just place it like that just have enough space underneath so that ores don't get stuck on the fence itself but basically you want this so that it stops the car and you can then just unload your car and then uh, the ores can just go through easily so here I'm just going to fill it up with uh, dark slate because that's what I had lying around Basically, the way you want to grind is you want to pick out a a node with your pickaxe. You're gonna pick out the whole thing, and then you want to use the gravity grabber in the middle of it so that you can pick up everything in one go. You're basically gonna to want to pick up everything from the ore. You're not gonna just go for just like minerals, like iron, gold. You don't want to do that. You want to just pick up every single thing, and then like I did that in a few, a few seconds. Instead of just sifting through all the ores and just picking out all the things, no, you just pick up the whole thing, and then you go straight back to your base and just unload it. So you don't have to go. We can go it. I mean, you can go in in any direction. You can go in forwards. You can go in backwards. There's no need to like perfect align it. Just drive straight in. Boom. That's it. Then you just want to uh, press on the respawn button, and then everything just gets unloaded and. I forgot to change its direction here to just make sure everything faces the right direction. And this was the before like version they did before this, but basically everything just goes in. Like it may fall off, but uh, that's just when you have a lot of ores pile up, pile up on top of each other. So this is going to be the second test. Again, same thing. Basically, I'm going to mine this, and I'm just going to throw all of it into the car. 
like I'm not even gonna check what R it is because it's really dark anyway. So there's no point wasting time on that. Just grab your grabber, grab everything, throw it in, and yeah. You don't need the grab your grabber, you can just throw everything in, but that takes about a lot more time. But what I like is just you know throw it everything in. Uh, you can do it two two nodes at the same time, but I especially like it just to do one, just to play it safe and not waste any time. So you don't want to waste any time on like getting multiple on and just spend on like taking the whole truck full. Just get one and just go back. It's way faster. And here, as you can see, this is the version that I made, and everything should go perfectly in. So. It may fall off, like here if one day goes too much. So as you can see, I put that it fell off. You can make this. You can keep it like that. It's fine. But uh, what I did here was I just made it a bit tall, a bit longer, so that that doesn't happen because this is a tilted. And just like that. Uh, now the chance of it falling off is pretty slim. So. Can do this you not you cannot do this at the same time but everything just gets stored in and that's two nodes so now i'm gonna spend the whole time just getting nodes and putting them back in so let's begin So I spent a total of just 7 minutes just mining, including the two nodes at the start which I did for testing. But now, with the press of a button, I can now just unload all the ores. And now I will be selling this to the, the junkyard. And basically you're gonna see how much I got in 7 minutes of just, just getting all the ores and selling everything now. So right now I am starting at around 500 and i'll just cut to around the end on what you see i won't cut to it i'm just gonna time lapse it and the thing about this is the selling of the ores actually take longer than the mining of it but i'm gonna base it off of how much money i got like in ore in like mining wise instead of like selling it. so i'm just gonna time lapse it now so it takes a really long time to sell stuff but yeah, that's how this is. <laughs> I also got this extra piece of stone because I just saw I didn't get any dark stone, I don't think. I mean, dark slate. So I'm just getting this, but it doesn't really matter. It's just another another ore that you can just get. And it just takes a few seconds to basically just load it in. So as you can see, it was just one pickup. I got all of them in and just the last two left, just drag them in and yeah, that's it. <laughs>
this is the last piece as you can see there's no nothing else in the forge anymore and after I sell this we'll finally get the, the final what do you call it we'll finally get the amount of money you you can get after mining for seven minutes only and pretty good like the amount of, it's already at like 11,000 or I mean 10,000 like that and after selling this I actually didn't expect it to go above uh, 10,000 um, it's at 12,000 so like that's a lot so yeah that's how I make money in um, Oakland uh, this is just a very simplified version of my main system it's a very small version uh is using the wide conveyors uh my one is right there it's a different system which one is all it also works on wood because you can't store wood right now so you have to store them like physically so i just have this old system so like these are the normal conveyors and they just all go through they all go in even wood goes in and they just all go into this really nice system and then they quickly go around all the way around after going through the refinery yeah and they go all the way around up the elevator which i also have a video on and they go to the storage place for wood and ores and the ore especially you just get stuck inside here into the infinite storage and so I, have it, I have it off and then they go into this loading place where this is made out of quartz and quartz is made out of ice so that it doesn't get stuck and yeah uh this is how i basically make money really fast in oakland so you don't go for just certain ores just put everything, sell everything, and you're just gonna make money out of nowhere. And in total, that took me 17 minutes, like with selling and uh, mining, to get 12,000. So, if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment on what video I should do next, and subscribe if you want to. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!